Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Montgomery, Alabama, at the local airport with Mick Rusty and wife. As, uh, well, they end up getting kicked off. Out of there. Oh my goodness. Is it their goal to get kicked out of every freaking business in the continental United States and then try their luck in uh, Hawaii and see how it goes down there? I mean, it didn't exactly work out for Aselmo either, but he tried. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I just prefer not to answer any questions. That's fine, Dave. Well, y'all gonna have to leave. You're not gonna perform in any duties. Oh, I am. Okay, that's fine. Hi. You're not, How you doing? Good, good. You're not getting names and badge numbers, please. It, let me let me finish talking. How you say Jennings? Jenkins. Can, Jenkins. I'm, oh, so I can, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. It's the, uh, I'm sorry. If you're not finna buy a J-E-N-K-I-N-S. If you're not finna do business with Lord. the rental car And who are you, sir? Hold on. If you're not finna do business with the rental car company. Chief of Police, or if Montgomery gonna, Airport Police. any type of business with the airport, you don't have to leave, okay? So, Freedom of Press is not business? Yes. Okay, guys, I got a little channel update for you. Right now, I am updating and I'm creating new playlists for my channel, considering how much my library is growing. So that's just a little maintenance I needed to take care of. As of right now, I have a list of random videos and arrest videos. But there will be more lists on the way in the coming days. So enjoy. Oh, by the way, there is a good day to die video on the random list which incorporates the song from Starship Troopers 3, It's a Good Day to Die, with footage from Star Trek Deep Space Nine, so enjoy that as well. At this point, it's only got 35 views since I created it four months ago. So for my Star Trek fans, enjoy that too. Say that. We said if you're not oh, okay. conducting any business. Yeah, we are. Freedom of press, sir. Well, that's, that's not. You got to be engaged in business activity. Yeah, it's called freedom of press on the U.S. Constitution. No, yeah, there's record, already case law. But Absolutely. You can record, but I'm telling you, you're going to have to leave right now if you're not going to do any type of business here. Oh, I just go buy a soda then. I'm thirsty. I just go buy soda. Yeah, when you finish with your soda, then you gotta leave. Oh, when I finish with my soda, I have to leave? Yes, sir. Oh, there's a time limit. Yeah, it's why it's open. Yeah, time, place, manner, right? You're a real comedian, Lana. Too bad nobody's laughing. Time, place, and manner restrictions. Do you get that? Time, place, manner restrictions? I know you're talking about Turner versus Driver and other the case laws about time, place, manner restrictions that are set by the police officers themselves, not by you. Have you ever heard of uh, the U.S. Constitution by chance? So, you go engage in your activities, okay? Like I just told you, explain to the, the places where you can't record it, okay? If you're not going to engage in any type of business right, public places, right. Oh, well, yeah, public places. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to engage in any type of activity oh, with the right airport. Here. She said that there's no freedom of the press over here. I, 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 I didn't say that. So please don't put me on record because I did not oh, say that. Oh, we got it, Brittany. You go ahead, Brittany. You good. Oh, what's your name again, man? Brittany. 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 This is our group call. Our chief changes. Okay. So, you want to, like, send him with us so he can babysit us or something? Well, I just told you what you needed to do. So say that if you're not going to engage in any activity as far as business with the airport, then you're going to have to leave. Okay? Oh, so if you, ha you have to ask for permission for freedom, then. Oh, I know, I am. I, I usually get them, though. Did y'all get a picture of the uh, new ticket machine? You know, right? I actually, I did. Yeah. I yeah. did, actually. You know how it works? No, it's covered up in plastic. I didn't touch it. What about it, damn? You know, it seems like only yesterday that these two morons got together and thought they could fraud it on a prison property and well guess what they found out otherwise i mean they found out real fast that they were on prison property and well that security takes precedent over that and uh same thing with certain areas of airports you dumbasses I'm sorry? You're gonna have to leave. Why, to why am I being, why am I have to leave? Come down this way, I'm at 22, okay? Okay, yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually in a public no, space. No, you can't record back here. So yeah, TSA's know. website actually says you can. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to go this way. Okay? So what if I don't? It's, you're gonna be arrested for loitering. And I'm how, not how, Can you explain how I'm loitering? I'm not to if you walk down this way. Well, before I leave this spot, I want to know how I'm no, loitering. Man, you're come out I told way. you that I'm conducting constitutionally protected activity. Come on down this way, man. Okay, so if I don't leave this spot, I'll be arrested. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so how am I loitering? I'm still trying do to... Do you understand what loitering is in Alabama? I, I do. Can you read it to me? 
I don't. I can't cite it verbatim, but I know it. Well, I know it. So yeah. that's why I'm I told you, you what my way. business was. We already have a conversation. No, man. you're yeah. this way. So freedom of press and news media. The this document. way, man. This way, sir. This, this way. So if I don't leave right now, I'll be arrested. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to explain to you. Okay. I'm going to move down here. Okay. So where, where am I moving to? I'm right on. So here. you're going to violate. So you, I know you just said you were Marine Corps. So I know you took an oath. So you're going to you're going to sit there and a, a free citizen right. that you took so an oath to. to such a dumbass. You're an ass. If I don't leave right now, I'll be arrested. Yes, okay, and where can I work? Where am I? Is it the whole property or is it just the inside or what else? The whole property. So, freedom of press is not. Okay. Can you just answer that question? I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm moving that way. But freedom of press, you swore an oath to the Constitution, and freedom of press is not. Uh, you you admitted to me that you're a Marine. We didn't stop you from recording, so you're oh, recording I, while you're leaving, so come on this way. Oh, I understand that, but you're still removing me from. Uh, from the property. Hello. I'm being escorted out under threat of arrest right now. So this, so this, uh, so this Marine here, admittedly a Marine, swore an oath to the uh, U.S. Constitution. He fought. He said, "21 years," you said, "sir." So now you're an oath breaker. Shame you, on you, sir. You said, Shame you said on Air you. Force? You said Marine, right? You said, you said Air Force, right? Well, I don't know. Did I say that? You're breaking local laws. How is am I breaking local laws? Water. Freedom of press, sir. This is what tyranny is. You are a tyrant. You are a tyrant. Tyrant. Thank you for your service, man. Thank you for tyrant. This is a tyrant right here. You know, Lana, a century ago, if you had called somebody a tyrant, uh, they would have found you in the alley the next day or something like that because they didn't tolerate that kind of thing. Nowadays, people like you say it so much, the word has pretty much lost all meaning. You are a tyrant. When our founding fathers said a tyranny, that was you. Would you are a tyranny. Problem? Founding oh, fathers, yeah, you are the, the America. Or you just can't go back. No, no, we got leader property. That's what I explained to you. These are tyrants. This is, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, these are tyrants. This is the tyranny that our founding fathers warned us about. No, I just want to make sure we're clear on the same sheet. Absolute tyranny. Before you footage up on your camera, you all are going to have to leave right now. What's the reason we're being removed? Okay, I just told you, Lord. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. All right. Thank you. This is the tyranny that our founding fathers, this is what they, this, the, America keeps asking, what does tyranny look like? This is what it looks like right here. This is what it looks like. Good, good look at tyranny, you ladies and gentlemen. Lana, you walked out of this airport with your health intact. You walked out of here right to your car and were able to drive over to the next state. I suggest you go over to North Korea, where you can't even travel from province to province without authorization from the government, where if you speak out against the government, that you will be, well, disappeared, to say the least, or your entire family will be uh, punished for it. So, uh... You want to speak again on tyranny? You want to see what real tyranny is? I suggest you head over to North Korea. Very good luck. Oh, yeah, she down there, the lady down there, mm -hmm. just straight up said, hey, can you get him out of here off of right. feelings? Right, right. So they're feeling enforced. Yep. Y'all going to look real bad across the country. Is this your car? Disable. I thank you for your service. Yeah, you're a tyrant. That's what you are. Tyranny. All right. Yeah, we'll get there. All right, John. We'll try to. Thank you, man. This, this is the tyranny. Y'all think about that. When you're alone in your bed, tyrants. Thank you, man. Absolute tyrants. This is the tyranny. They, they swore an oath to the Constitution. Oath breakers. Shame on you. Shame. When can we... Uh, Absolute shame. When can we come back? Yes, when, when can we come back? Or how, how, how long are we trespassed or whatever from here? Okay. Are you going to be conducting business to the airport? I was here conducting business to begin with. The recording is my business. Both you and uh, Rusty Boy here are quite pathetic, quite pitiful. I mean, you do what you do. You post your videos on YouTube because you're free to do so. You can't do that in North Korea. You, uh can travel from state to state in the United States. You can't do that in North Korea without permission from the government. Hell, you can't even drive a car in uh, 
North Korea without uh, swearing your loyalty to the Communist Party. And even after you uh, do that, you still have to take a year-long driver's ed course, which, well, you have to take apart the car to its base components and then put it back together again before you pass the class. But still... You have to take a loyalty oath to the Kim family rather than the nation as a whole, to the dictator and not to the country. So you want to talk about, oh, our country being nothing but a bunch of tyrants? Yeah, you are nothing but a sheltered little person. And that's all I got to say about that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?